Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Kelvin. Uh, and as you guys know, uh, we have the Autobox Norway chess tournament going on right now. And um, it's been very exciting. Um, we've seen a lot of ups and downs. Um, we actually saw Magnus Carlsen uh, lose uh, his first game in about two years. Um, he's basically been winning and drawing uh, everything. And so uh, he lost his uh, first game the, uh, the other day in um, classical time controls uh, to Jan Christoph Duda. Uh, so that was, uh, you know, that's that's definitely something that's, you know, shocked the chess world. Um, but, you know, nobody's perfect. So, you know, it's, it's bound to happen at some point. Um, but uh, so right now we're in round eight. And so, uh, you know, we have the game of Magnus Carlsen of Norway against his countryman, um, Arian Tari. Um, so, um, like I said before, uh, I'm going to be doing just some light commentary. Um, just kind of like putting, a, you know, a couple of my thoughts down in there and stuff and explaining like, you know, the opening and stuff like that. And, you know, it's I was able to slow the video down a little bit. Um, so it's going to be playing considerably slower. It's not going to be, you know, a snail's pace, but it's definitely not going to be as blazing fast as it was uh, last time I did the, the playthrough. Um, so, yeah, it's just pretty much going to be just a little quick playthrough with, you know, a couple of my thoughts and stuff like that. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it, guys. All right. All right, so the regular E4 opening, typical development. Bishop B5. This is one of the oldest uh, openings in the in in, in chess. Um, knight to F6, right? Yep. You have castles. Now, definitely that E4 pawn is not uh, is not vulnerable to attack, um, but you know you protect it at this point now. So we have the closed Sicilian. You know, um, backing that bishop up on that long diagonal. And uh, you know it's hitting that uh, it's hitting that tender f7 square, so you know you definitely want to get castled pretty quick. And we're just gonna go ahead and back that back to to a2. And uh, you know you can tell it's still still bearing down on that square. Uh, f2 and f7 are are very vulnerable points, um, pretty much at all points of a chess game. So um, there are a lot of sacrifices that happen around the king. Uh, and so uh, F7 and F2, especially when you see the rook just moved over there, um, it, it becomes a very, very uh, soft point. And so you definitely want to keep that in mind when you're playing your own games. Uh, there's going to be a lot of sacrifices and, and stuff like that. There's a very famous game with, um, you know, Bobby Fischer and Samuel Ryshevsky where he actually sacrificed on F7. So uh, that's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty popular one. A lot of people know about. Yeah, so we're just going to trade down and. And if you guys notice, um, black has all his central pawns on blacks on dark squares. And so that kind of makes his bishop a little bit, a little, a little bad. And so basically what uh, what Carlson is doing, he's playing his knight against this bishop. And uh, if, if you'll know, you'll, you'll notice in the next like 10 to 15 moves that basically uh, Magnus Carlson is playing on the light squares because, you know, naturally... You know, Tari has a dark square bishop, so you're going to want to, uh, you know, maximize your 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 um, your comfort level um, by putting your knight on a, on a light square. Basically, when you're putting it on the light square, you know, there's never going to be a chance that uh, you know Tari is going to be able to contest that knight. And so, like I said, if you notice, I mean, the bishop is is kind of you know kind of blocked in by his own pawns. Um, so it's a uh, and that was being pinned, so it's 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 definitely not as good of a piece as this knight is um, with this type of position. Now, you know, of course, if the position was, you know, a lot more open, um, then uh, you know the bishop would probably be a little bit better than the knight. So, you know, a bishop isn't always better than a knight, and uh, you know, and a knight's not always better than a bishop. It really just depends on the position that you have. So we got trades here. All right, f6. Now that's a cheeky little move here. You know he's trying to, of course, encourage a, a, a capture so that he can, you know, check on uh, on f8. And uh, all right, so we have a we have a rook sacrifice, which technically really isn't a sacrifice. Um, all right, so we have the check here, and king goes to h8, and then we have knight to f6. All right, so this is the the actual end of the game. Um, it's I believe that Arian Tari just resigned. Um, basically, what you're looking at here is you're looking at checkmate and one on uh, on g8. 
uh, and you're also the queen is attacked. You know, the queen is attacked by the knight. And so there's not really anything you have to really do here. Um, I mean, you don't really have, you, you can't move the rook, you know, the, the, it's kind of pinned to the queen and, um, you know, there really isn't anywhere for this bishop to go. I mean, of course, if the bishop comes here, you have mate here. And, uh, you know, if you move bishop here, that's just, you know, that's another mating situation, you know, because the, the king is, you know, basically, you know, the, the king is still mated in this position. You know, the king can't move anywhere. So it's just, uh. Even though Carlson only has these two pieces, he his threats are like deadly dangerous. So um, you basically just were able to see a game that the the Magnus Carlson proved that his knight was better than the bishop, uh, and uh, you know Tari was just never really able to you know bring his bishop uh, to any effective squares, or you know it, it didn't really have a lot of influence on the actual game. So. You know, in your own gameplay, if you can try to make your, uh, you know, your minor piece better than your opponent's minor piece, then, you know, you should be able to get, a, you know, a pretty good game out of that. Uh, but, yeah, guys, that's uh, that's the round eight game against uh, Magnus Carlsen and Ariantari. Uh, I appreciate it, guys. See you next time.